is a multi-purpose tropical tree with a tremendous variety of potential uses. Even though it has been quite well known to the ancient world, it has only been recently rediscovered in West Africa where it has been underexploited. Despite the several uses of Moringa and the revealing information on the nutritive values, the crop has not been given any due attention by governments of developing countries. Governments in third world countries have preferred giving supplementary vitamins to children than considering the promotion of such vitamins and nutrients as could be found in a crop such as Moringa. Moringa olifera belongs to a monogeneric family of shrubs and trees, Moringa sine, and originates from the sub-Himalayan mountains of India. The tree's name is derived from the Indian Murungo and the Latin word for oil-bearing, olifera. There are 14 species in general, but the most important of them are the Moringa olifera and Moringa stenopetella. Currently, it is cultivated all over the tropics, including Ghana. It is not strange that Moringa olifera is known as the divine tree among its numerous attributes. Virtually, every part of the tree is beneficial in some way, which is of great importance in areas where people solely depend on nature for their livelihood. Indeed, there is nothing that needs to be wasted. Indian Asian tradition of Ayurveda says the leaves of the Moringa tree prevent 300 diseases. Scientific research has proven that these humble leaves are in fact a powerhouse of nutritional value. Gram for gram, Moringa leaves contain seven times vitamin C in oranges, four times the calcium in milk, four times vitamin A in carrots, two times the protein in milk, and three times the potassium in bananas. Unfortunately, while science sings the praises of Moringa leaves, this vital information has not reached the people who need it most. But not all people have turned a blind eye on this important tree. A number of scientists have and continue to work on Moringa. Adra Ghana, having included Moringa on its food security program, has encouraged each client farmer to grow two, three or four Moringa trees at their backyard. As a measure to combat nutritional problems, most development programs are promoting alternate sources of rich protein food. Moringa is one such crop that promises a balanced diet. It could be extensively grown and introduced for sustainable production and utilization in deprived communities. Indeed, there are several reasons why everybody should have a Moringa tree at his backyard. Experts agree that the long-term solution to malnutrition is the use of foods rich in essential nutrients often lacking in most people's diets. Modern scientific research is proving that Moringa leaves are of the richest sources of such nutrients. Even the use of small amounts of the leaves could protect thousands of people from suffering and death. Adra Ghana, supported by USAID, is using a two-pronged approach to highlight the usefulness of Moringa to its client farmers, namely workshops and food demonstrations. One such workshop was organized at Brikumansu near Asamankasi in the West Achim district of the Eastern region. Moringa leaves could be processed in a variety of ways. Adra Ghana workshops and cooking demonstrations create the awareness of a variety of ways of processing Moringa leaves and the usefulness of the miracle tree. <laughs> Fresh Moringa leaves could be prepared into Moringa juice or as a sauce.
For the preparation of moringa juice, wash the leaves in salt solution and grind it on a stone. You can also crush and pound the leaves in a mortar. Add a small amount of water and filter the solid out of the solution and wriggle out the liquid. Dilute the liquid with water and add sugar to taste. Juice from the leaves is believed to have stabilizing effect on blood pressure and is used to treat anxiety. Mixed with honey and followed by a drink of coconut milk two or three times a day, the leaves are used as a remedy for diarrhea, dysentery and inflammation of the colon. Users testify to its control of glucose levels in diabetic patients. An infusion leaf tea is prepared by placing the leaves in boiling water for about five minutes. The infusion leaf tea is used for the treatment of gastric ulcers and diarrhea. According to Medical Aid for Africa, a diabetic hospital administrator in Dakar, Senegal, has for over three years managed his blood sugar level drinking tea made from moringa leaves. The leaves, after draining the water, can be used for stews, soups and other foods. Flowers can be eaten with omelette or used to make a beverage. Flower beverage drink provides good amounts of calcium and phosphorus and prevents cold. Moringa flour and or leaves are used to prepare omelette. Moringa leaf powder presents the best form in which processed moringa could be stored. The leaves are first washed in salt solution and dried in a shade or indoors. As much as 50 to 70 percent vitamin A will be retained using this method. Pound the leaves in a mortar and sieve to produce fine powder. One tablespoonful of powder satisfies about 14% protein, 40% calcium, 23% iron, and all essential vitamins needed by a child aged between 1 to 3 years. Six rounded spoonfuls of powder will satisfy nearly all daily iron and calcium needs during lactation and pregnancy. Moringa leaf powder in an airtight dark container can stay on the shelf for 12 months. As a nutritional additive, add two or three spoonfuls of powder to rice, soup and sauces just before serving. Indeed, a small amount of leaf powder will not have any marked effect on the taste of the sauce. The entire leafy portion of the crop could be used for consumption. Young growing tips from mature trees are suitable for use as leaf sources, but older leaves need to be stripped from their rough central twigs before cooking. It is advisable to add moringa leaves towards the end of the cooking process in order to retain the maximum vitamin and mineral content of the crop, although only very high temperatures will destroy vitamin A. Gradually but steadily, the work of Adra Ghana in the promotion of Moringa to client farmers is gaining roots. Women now incorporate Moringa in various forms to the local dishes. Patronage of local dishes made for sale is also increasing as the people now know what they gain from eating Moringa. The majority of people living in developing countries have to collect their own water. Water is usually fetched from the lake and carried home to be boiled. Drinking water that reaches Western standards is still the exception. In Homa Bay, a small town in western Kenya, progress has been made in water provision. 
The man responsible for water management proudly shows us the town's water pump, modernized just a few years ago, which is capable of producing 20,000 liters a day. Yeah, there is uh, sufficient water. Given that uh, the population also uh, increased day by day, so in the future we also would like to increase our production system so that it can cope up with the, the population. To clean the water from the lake, they use a coagulant made out of aluminium sulfate. Every day, 50 kilograms of the chemical coagulant is poured into a mixing tank to be diluted before going into a cleaning system. The drinking water is prepared in the same way as in the West. The coagulant is mixed in with the lake water in the first cleaning stage. The tiniest particles then clump together in the water. These sink to the bottom of the tank and are filtered out in various phases. But there's a problem. Chemical coagulants are expensive to import and developing countries often can't afford them. A promising alternative lies in this unprepossessing fruit or seed of the Moringa tree. The Moringa tree, also known as the Miracle tree, originally came from India and is perfectly suited to Eastern Africa. It doesn't need much water, bears fruit even in its first year and has been utilized in many different ways for centuries. The people, they, want, they, they like it because it is a multi-purpose tree. You can get a vegetable food from Moringa, you can feed your cattle by cutting the leaves, you can get a shed, you can use as a fence, and uh, the most important thing is the seeds which uh, Optima of Africa is buying from the farmers. When they are pressed, the dried seeds produce a high quality oil that's widely used in the cosmetics industry. But now the latest research has shown that the fruit of the miracle tree is capable of much more. The crushed seeds contain substances which could replace the chemical coagulants used to prepare drinking water. Initial tests carried out in Tanzania were so successful that the Swiss African firm Optima now wants to develop a commercial product. Lausanne, Federal Institute of Technology. An international team of scientists is examining the properties of the Moringa seeds. Following extensive tests, a procedure has been developed to extract the most important protein and to examine its effects. The goal is to develop a natural coagulant that's easy to produce and as efficient as chemical coagulants. And the seeds of the miracle tree live up to their name. The Moringa protein causes the loose particles in the dirty water to bind together to make flakes which then sink down to the bottom. But it's not black magic that's at the heart of this product. It's all down to this molecule. Researchers in Lausanne have succeeded in extracting the vital components. This is an example of a treatment of water very cheaply using a local plant, natural resources, which doesn't affect the environment, which is a renewable resource. And in addition, it's an antimicrobial agent, so in fact it would also help to, to partially uh, sterilize, if you like, the water. The disinfecting properties of the Moringa protein arouse the interest of microbiologists at the University of Lausanne. Could the Moringa tree also work miracles on bacteria such as Staphylococci, which are resistant to antibiotics? Different doses of the Moringa protein are mixed into a solution with the Staphylococci. The question is, can the plant substances kill these bacteria? In it goes into the incubator. The test begins. All over the world, the search is on for natural active substances, which are on the one hand harmless to humans, and on the other hand have the ability to destroy harmful bacteria. That's the crucial thing. The bacteria were in the incubator for 24 hours, time to examine the sample. 
Have the organisms survived the test? Or were the active substances of the Moringa successful in this case too? The laboratory test was applied to several types of bacteria and the result was always the same. Whenever the miracle tree substances were mixed in, disease producing bacteria such as Staphylococci, Streptococci and Legionella stood no chance. Without the Moringa, the bacteria multiply in the Petri dish. But even the smallest dosage kills off the microorganisms. This is incredible. Several new tests of the miracle tree are underway. The Moringa substance has enormous potential. But for Professor Marison, it's clear that despite the scientific research, the priority is to develop an environmentally friendly product for the preparation of drinking water. I would say it could be done almost immediately because the process itself exists. We know how to do it. We know how to extract the proteins. We know how to extract them in a way that they can be used. So the only question now is under what conditions would they use? You mustn't forget that each water is different. So even from day to day, even during the day, the water can be different. So you have to be able to adjust the characteristics of the flocculant, if you like, to try to adapt it to the conditions which are there. The results of the Swiss research are awaited eagerly in Homa Bay. Much hope has been placed in the miracle tree. If we can get Moringa to be used in treating water, then I think that's a very good step ahead. Yeah, instead of using chemicals which cost a lot of money, the Moringa trees can just be planted here locally, then they are used. I think that, is, that will be good. It's not yet clear how long it will take before the Moringa protein can be deployed in large quantities. The first steps have been taken. But even in modern science, miracles can take a little longer.